Onion architecture is a pattern that is often adopted during DDD, since it separates different architecture layers. The complexity of the domain is protected in its own layer that acts as the core. It emphasizes the decoupling of the UI from the business logic layer. Yes, there are still dependencies for the UI to behave as expected, however, coupling these two makes it harder for the system to integrate with change, and this is what we are trying to prevent. Typically, there is one onion architecture per bounded context. The concept of onion architecture is that the center is key, so outer layers depend on internal ones. The dependency flow goes inward. As you can see, the domain model is coupled only with itself. It is purely independent, but it directs the behavior of all its outer layers. Infrastructure is externalized, and therefore any databases are external as well, although this will depend on the system and limitations that you have for implementation. However, this is just the general principle, but as always, this just acts as a guide. Let's have a closer look at the Onion architecture. So at the core, we have our domain model, which is what we'll be modeling during the course. It holds the core objects and business rules. This is layered by the domain services, which are the triggers for the business logic. Then we have our application services layer, which include things like ports, adapters, interfaces with the ORM, search engines, and messaging interfaces that take care of translating between components. We also have the user interface. This is the layer that surfaces the functionality to the user. And as we discussed previously, all the infrastructure resides outside of the Onion architecture. So these include things like databases and servers.